need to stop that from right. happening as well. Exactly. And the way they will be doing it is when there's a, uh, in the area, um, the sitters that are in a respective area, they do it by zip codes, it's kind of the way yeah. they're managing it, um, will be getting um, emails as far as ava new available properties. And you can register now, but you don't have to go into a home now. You could look at it for three years down the road or whatever, okay? But if you just get into the database at no charge for the database. If you sign up, hmm. you, know, you can put as far as where you heard it from, you can heard it from me. I don't get any brownie points, all that, but they like to know where the information is coming from. Uh, the code you put in is MR1406, okay? Huh. So go look at the website, fabulouscenters.com. Look at the options. Is it only certain banks that are part of the program? I don't know which banks or how that specific part is coming from. That's kind of th that they are working with. I wouldn't with mind the taking care of somebody's beachfront house <laughs> that got four right. yeah. 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 bucks a month. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's the deal. The Maybe the sooner you get on the list, the better your choices of where you want to stay. I want to talk to them. Check into them. Absolutely. Uh, talk to if you, you can talk it's to going to depress the rental market. If you sign out yeah. and then the, you'll get that phone number. Because on no, how big it gets. Yeah. 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 Most people well. don't want to live in. Temporary basis. Yeah. Temporary. Yeah, You're yeah. saying it's going to depress the real estate market, the rental market. Yeah. I don't think so because number one, people don't like moving. No. They don't. So their inertia sets in. Number two is most people want something in moving condition. They don't want to move into a something they need to take care of. So I, I follow your point and believe me as a. Still a great As someone who holds idea. a lot of rentals, I don't need the rental market depressed more. Um, but I, I, I'm, I'm not was, feeling that worried based on what she's talking about. If I was a college kid and I didn't mind sleeping on a mattress on the floor, I'd be all over it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, most of your tenants are looking for a particular location. They're not saying, all right, um, you tell me where to go. And I'm looking for low rent. They're saying I want to be here, and now what's available here? Yeah, so. it's, it's a certain breed of people, and again, out of home time. And you need to also, you know, if you're very people sitting in the house, you need to have it in presentable condition. You know, you have to, have to understand your job responsibilities. And that would probably work as far as uh, having people come into the house if they wanted to buy the house and the sitters were still there, they could be there to at least let people in and out. Or, or there, most likely there would be a key on, you know, a key box, okay, you know, all box. of that stuff. Also, if you as the sitter are interested in buying the property, there's you get a discount uh, okay. on it too. Small discount, but there's still a discount. Yeah, I think it's an excellent thing uh, security-wise too. I've got a property in Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, that... Uh, we had a tenant in that wasn't paying rent. The management company finally evicted him, went to the house and took the stuff out of the house, put it out there in the street. Uh, that very night, I'm sure it was the same tenant came back with probably three or four people, trashed the place, ripped the cabinets out of the house, you know, threw everything out in the street. I mean, just demolished. And uh, so we're looking at about $7,000 worth of damage. So I filed an insurance claim, and it's $100 or $1,000 deductible. It's getting handled. But there's an example where if you had to do an eviction, you could immediately maybe get something like that into the property to secure it and make sure it's okay. You can, you know, you uh, contact Bob on, on the site, and he's, he's a fabulous uh, individual who's really the mouthpiece for this in the foreground, um, and see if that's, you know, their, their first their first focus on this whole thing is the, the deal with the uh, REOs and the banks and okay. the government and all that. So you're talking about private sector being so, interested in the house sitters. That, so that might be... You know, have a conversation with it. It might be something after they do this. Okay, and I don't know the immediate local area in relation to the March 17th, um, you know, startup in the field. But they've been putting this together for quite some time. <laughs> you know, I I don't know if there's really a business uh, kind of moving from that a little bit. But I've had a number of management companies that I deal with a bunch, you know, on a national level, and they're all how can I say it? Uh, they'll get you a tenant in about maybe three or four months, but if you really want to push Craigslist and everything else, you know, you need to get out there and get those tents pushed back to the management companies and, and manage the management companies. Yeah. Uh, I've had a number of management companies say, well, we'll pay you to do what you're doing for us, meaning that we'll give you $100 per tenant that you place. There's probably a business out there like Cameron's find the tent, or find the, uh, the buyer, find the seller. Or find the seller. Yeah, find the seller. Yeah, both sides of it. Yeah. Find the tenant, you know, because there's a lot of management companies out there that have 700 rentals, and at any given time, there's probably 
50 of them, they're empty. You know? So there's a job sitting at home for somebody putting out Craigslist ads or whatever, driving those tenants back to the management companies. Exactly. Because they have so many that they got to deal with. There is, I think, another job somewhat similar to what you're talking about. Well, it, uh, it, it's another job. It's not, that's similar. not similar, but yeah, it's, it's another job. Yeah. direction too. Well, I think we're probably officially done uh, with the meeting here. I want to thank you all for showing up, and anybody wants to hang in here later on, please do. But we'll call it officially done. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.